it's so bad at checkers. It's so bad. You suck at checkers. You suck. You suck. Fuck. I'm disappointed what you did to Roger. Yeah, well, he's a taunter. You should try playing him, and maybe you wouldn't be so surprised. I'm not the one in therapy. Jack, I may be able to get you out of here under my supervision, but you're going to have to work harder. I would do anything. I bet I could get my old job back. That would help. I will work as hard as you need me to. Jack, your mother's not doing well. It's another reason you need to get your life together. You have my word. Hey. How are your sessions going? They suck. I'm not getting anything out of them. Why don't you just release me and let me get out of here full time? Release somebody with your violent history? I stabbed one bitch in one bar one time. It was your best friend. Well, she shouldn't have been checking out my man. I'm disappointed you think that's a good reason. <laughs> Remember when you were telling me during one of our sessions about your sexual dreams, um, you were being choked? Those weren't dreams. They were the real deal. <laughs> I have to help somebody with their violent and, and um, anger issues, and I was hoping maybe you would become my assistant in a small capacity. And, of course, only if you want to. I wouldn't have to come back here? Not unless you went off the reservation. Then I'd have to bring you here full time. I'll think about it. Thank you. <sighs> Jack, I'm not doing this. Just one more, okay? Just get it for You're me, You're cut please. off. Go home. Just one more, Marty. You're hurting me. Go home now. Hey, buddy, get lost. <laughs> My beer. Do you believe this, guys? Oh! oh. Right, because you got broadsided years ago and it fucked up your leg. You're a doctor of psychology. What are you doing? For getting in bar fights. It out. We've been working so hard at therapy. Then it's not working, okay? Do I look better? Come to my office tomorrow at two o'clock, okay? I have a special session for you. <sighs> two o'clock, Jack, okay? parts to change. I got you your job back. You get it done. What, so I owe you something now? I can walk away at any time. Like how you walked away from our relationship? Why do you always bring that up? My dad's taking a risk letting you work here. You quit, and the doctor's gonna send you right back to the loony bin. No one's gonna hire you. You know what? You don't worry about it, I'll fix it. You're crazy! Hey, Jack, what are you doing? What are you two arguing about? It's nothing. No, okay, it's it's nothing. My business will be nothing if you two don't get along and get to work. Shh. I was hoping when I brought you back that you two would get back together. Yeah, stop it. Jack doesn't want to hear that. Look, you spend time in an institution and it changes you, okay? No crap, throwing parts. I'm surprised you're here, Marvin. How you doing? You feeling all right? Not good. It's better I come to work than sit home waiting to die. Dad, don't talk like that. You're not gonna die. 
Don't worry about me. Please, you two, get along. So this business survives. Okay. Let me help him, okay? Look. Look, Pearl. I'm sorry, I... I'm sorry. Can you cover me? This afternoon, I have this experimental session with my doc. I have to be there. Sure. I hope it goes well. Thank you. Again, I'm sorry. So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to stand here and stare into space? Just relax. And remember, this is an experimental exercise. Okay, so close your eyes and take a deep breath. Somebody's going to approach you from behind and I want you to respond accordingly. Touch that. Don't fucking touch it. Thank you, Bonnie. Um, Jack, we have some work to do. to she's on a break right now look doc this therapy is not working well you have to give it a little time she'll carry this stupid wire it's we don't have to i can't let it go i'm uh, every time i just i see my father dying in front of me and my mother being destroyed by it We can't change the past. And you've worked so hard to become an electrician like your father, but maybe that wire is becoming a detriment to your progression. I'm not ready to give it up. And I'm not asking you to. We'll retrain your behavior, and once the anger is gone, so too the wire. You really believe that? I do. Because I believe in you. I suppose I should be grateful to you for not killing me. You slapped me. What else was I supposed to do? You were trying to strangle me. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Just let him go. messing with? I'm wondering what's delaying that grant check. I'm sure she'll get back to you soon. Where's mine? You two should talk about what happened rationally, okay? I'll be back later.
Thanks for crushing it. Peslo's broke, so he can't buy a new one. I don't need it anymore. I'm fine. We both hoped that this exercise would prove you could control your anger. I guess you were wrong. I just tried to choke you out. His aggression control training works on milder cases. You're screwed up, but I'll put you right. Wow, I guess you've got a new line of work in psychology, huh? Well, I know how to get things done. I'll get rid of your hot button. Yeah, I guess if anybody has a hot temper, you can just zap them. Whatever it takes. Do you think the doc just thinks of me as some lab experiment? His methods are extreme. But great reward requires great risk. Maybe I overreacted. I wouldn't be here if I didn't trust you. I'm on your side. Mm. Your bad news. Nelson and I'll have to find this guy. What the hell did he take? There's nothing in this dive. Charles had the presence of mind to get the license plate number. Guy wore a ragged green army jacket. Yeah, with a sergeant's stripe and a hell on wheels patch. Had to be a drug addict. Attack you with a gun and get only how much, Charles? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. It's not a whole lot of money. Devlin. Was I not clear when I said I don't want these illegal machines in my town? Come on, Chief. You know everybody has them. I mean, even the firehouse has one. They're just trying to keep local businesses afloat. Oh, hey, then let's put one up in the precinct, huh? We don't have the big budgets that these large corrupt cities have, but don't you worry, Charles. We're gonna get you a lousy 200 bucks back. What a racket. Two hundred dollars. It's funny. This place made a lot more money than that. The kind that does what he likes, when he likes. Do you have a warrant? Warrant for your arrest. Where's the gun? I don't have one. Search all you want. That's all right. We got a search warrant, too. It's a shame your anger issues have escalated to assault and robbery. Come on, fuck you. You're going down, Brenner. Everything's gonna be fine, Jack. I'll call your lawyer. He's Dr. Peslow's latest pet project. Even gives Bonnie the creeps. Bonnie Lang, Charles' girlfriend? Oh. It's okay. <clears throat> Look what we found in your car. Go ahead, try it on. Are you gonna do something about this? Wally, you do not have a case against my client. <laughs> <laughs> Counselor, explain some things to me. Mask, the car, the plates, the clothes, all witnessed during the robbery. Explain those things to me, and it'll make it so much easier. Your uh, client's under psychiatric treatment, right? Bit of a loose cannon, are we? Watch what you say about my client. Look, I am, I'm fucking innocent. You may have been born that way, but you didn't stay that way. You needed money, so you took it. I'd be insane to wear my jacket and drive my car to rob a- Newsflash, you are insane. Bonnie Lang said so. Bullshit. You know what, I'm out of here. No, you're not. We're not done with you. Sit down. 
That's police brutality on my client. Oh. <laughs> You're watching too much TV. You gotta get out more. Police brutality. No worries. We'll solve it one way or the other. What, you don't knock? What? <sighs> You're free to go. Made bail. Now, you boys have a very shaky case. Dr. Peslo has always been Jack's alibi. And you better keep your hands off my client. Or, or what? Or I'll sue you and bankrupt this dive town. Good luck with that. Go ahead. You might make about 100 bucks. You all come back now, you hear? Come on, let's get on this. Thanks for bailing me out again. I know, you put it all on the line. Yeah, just don't do anything foolish. I'm innocent. You have nothing to worry about. I've never been much of a warrior. Besides, I think the police will find the true culprit quickly. The only thing the cops do quickly is jump to conclusions. I don't trust them to do a damn thing. Patience, OK? Can they just do their job? Well, at least let me drive you home. You don't have to take a cab. It's nonsense. OK, can you just fix the electrical outlet in my office like I've asked you to do, and we'll be even? Hey. Yeah, I need to talk to you anyway. All right. Yeah, I'll just come. All right. heard about your trouble with the police. Thought we should talk. Huh? So you can give them more information about me? Save your anger for those who hurt you. I'm trying to help you. Face facts. You make a great suspect. That's Kathy Moffat from Out of the Past. My favorite on-screen hero. Nerves of steel didn't hesitate to shoot any man who got in her way. Is that normal? Normal's overrated. Is it now? The gentleman prefers blondes. Where's your picture, Bonnie? Got a lot of balls, pal. Bonnie, what, do we run the psych ward now? Oh, it's very funny, Charles. You look like a prime candidate. Oh, now you're on his side. Bonnie and... Jack, eh? Okay. Did he call? Yeah. Said there's a problem. My good friend Devlin. Have a seat. Come on, relax. Have a seat. Sit down. Relax. Magnificent threads you have on. And those shoes. I can only dream of having a pair of those. How can I help you? Bruno was tight-lipped as usual. This robbery is bad for business. Not only bad, it's insulting. You know what I mean? I need a report on this investigation. I've got two suspects, one with a solid alibi. Well, you know, I'm a respectable businessman, and I can help you in many ways. And I can make Bruno available to talk to your suspects. Bruno can be a very persuasive interviewer. I've got it under control. No one gets away with crime in our town. Our town. Our town. Bruno, what the hell has he come up with this, our town? Oh, I forgot to tell you, Miss Griffin called. I'm getting that grant money next week. Thank God. You've been on a bad streak lately. Some things are looking up, though. Jack has a good alibi in you. But you have doubts? Doubts are unacceptable. I must succeed with Jack. Otherwise, you know where you're headed. I know where I'm headed and what I have to do to get there. You're not in jail. So what? Yeah, but if I don't do something quickly, the cops are going to arrest me again. Dr. Peslo stuck his neck out to save you. He now wonders what the hell he was thinking. Bonnie, that's enough. OK, you're the one out on a limb. Look, I appreciate everything you guys are doing for me. And if you want to steer clear, I get it. 
Who else is gonna take care of you? Apparently half the town. Why, are you offering? Sure, Mr. Only Suspect. Personal. You know I didn't do it. Even if that's what my gut tells me, he's my boss. Somebody's got to go to jail. Uh -huh. I've got some leads, like this guy. You were able to pull a partial print off your van, no? No. Should I? I'm betting he knows something. I don't have enough to bring him in. Bathroom? on your own. Okay, champ? on somebody else. In the hideaway? Hmm? I got arrested for that job the other day and I didn't do it, but I guess you already know that, huh? So you're Jack brother. And I'm looking for the scumbag who set me up. Wouldn't it be wise for you and me to go to the cops? You look a lot dumber than you thought. Yeah. Well, you're not thinking at all. Get lost, Jack. You're coming with me. Jack, get up now! This isn't over. Yeah, that's right. This ain't over. Next time I see you, you're a dead man. You know what? Give me a shot on his fucking money. What's she doing here? You need your bodyguard? The cops are after Jack Brenner. It was perfect. Except you hit me too hard. Time to pay up. New deal, junkie. Next time you want to get high, you come and visit your buddy Sharky. And then everybody's happy. <laughs> are you crazy? We give you a job and you're going to screw us? You're going to pay us our money? Or visit Sharky? In jail? <laughs> you both set this up. I'm not fucking up, jail. You want your kids to get the fucking money? Now it's fucking mine. Bitch, you pull something on me, you better be very fucking using. 
Oh, I'm ready to use it. But more importantly, I'm not afraid to use it. Don't get greedy, Sharky. You stick to the plan. You don't know who you're messing with. Well, at least you got more balls than bitch number one here. We made the plan. We took the risks. It's time to pay up. Yeah, I'll think about it. But I'm keeping most of it. You better get that money. You promised me that you could get me to Mexico. I'll get you the money. I promise I will get you the money. You better, Charles. Because I need to get out of this town. You understand? Somehow, you're able to find happiness wherever you are. I brought you a little something. Just to tell Susan, okay? She'll kick my butt. Hey. That's not fair. What happened to us? To our family? Sorry, I'm such a mess. I just caused you trouble. I want you to know that Dr. Peslov, he's tried so hard to help me. I feel like I'm almost there. I'll find a way, okay? God, I miss Dad. Okay, okay, okay. That's excellent, Peggy. Joe, thank you. Have a seat. Um, before we call it, would anybody else like to share? Benny? Why was you calling me? You know I hate when you call on me. Why? I'm sorry. It's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, stop right there. I want you all to have a nice, calm night. Okay, we'll see you next session. <clears throat> Jack, would you mind staying behind, please? What happened? I met the guy who framed me. We didn't get along so well. Well, that's foolish. Did you learn anything? I mean, he lost his shit, and I guess I lost mine, but I stopped before anything happened. Well, at least we're making progress. What do you think? I think so, too. Okay. That was excellent, Jack. 
You're getting close, my friend. Close? Close? No, you're getting close. Close to killing her and driving me fucking insane. Jack, you can stop whenever you'd like. <laughs> Just remember, we have your best interest here. Fuck you. to be between 6 and 12 last night. There were signs of strangulation with the wire around his neck, but someone definitely tried to play basketball with his head against the floor. So you think somebody bashed his head into the ground? No, it was a single strike. There's no indentation on the head to indicate that he was struck with a blunt object of any kind. He cracked his skull from a fall. Maybe he tripped or something. Or maybe the killer strangled him and dropped him on the ground. Or that. I mean, there's tools all over the ground, right? No blood on the tools. Obviously a scuffle. During the scuffle, maybe the toolbox gets broken open. There's a toolbox. Where is it? I examined the body. I didn't see a toolbox anywhere. So it appears we can rule out accidental death. I would agree with that. Narrow that down. Gee, you think? Listen, I, I spoke to the worker that found Sharky's body, and he said that his red toolbox was missing. That solves the toolbox mystery. So, the work of a mad electrician, possibly? Can we get Brenner back to the station? Yeah, on it. Thank you. Hope not to see you again soon. Where's Doc? He's dealing with a patient. I got you some coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, you really should think about ditching this jacket. Yeah, well, I'm attached to it. It's hard to get rid of things you're attached to. Like in your case, Charles. The police are here. They're looking through your van. Oh, shit. Now I gotta get out of this town. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Acapulco. Mexico? Dr. Peslow said you'd never leave your mother. Would you, Jack? I gotta go, okay? Got yourself shaving? You're wasting your time with me. Maybe I like wasting my time. Look, I had nothing to do with the robbery or the murder. Did you by any chance have a talk with Sharky? If you did, you'd be smart to tell me now, because he says your M.O. all over it. No idea what you're talking about, sir. Mm. You know, his killer unleashed a lot of anger, very violent. Your point? Does this look familiar? I got all kinds of wires. How about the robbery, then? No. Can't see Sharky doing this on his own. And I know it's a lot more than $200. And between you and me, I don't trust Charles. Couldn't find anything in his place or his bar, so... Oh. So you're telling me the small-town cops are having a hard time figuring things out? You got me. You're just way smarter than us. I give up. Where's the money, Jack? What's wrong? You don't have any other suspects? Sorry. No do-overs. You had your chance. You think you're the only one after me right now, Devlin? I'm just getting started coming after you, Brenner. OK. Where do you think you're going? You would have arrested me if you had any evidence, so when you make something up, you let me know. Well, you know me. I'll do whatever it takes. Prick. Can I get you another one, Ash? Sure. Hey, Jack. Oh, God. <laughs> My favorite client. Thanks for meeting me here. Why are we even getting back out? Never mind that. Listen, I appreciate that you met with Devlin, but please, 
do not go without me again. That is a dangerous maneuver, my friend. Yeah, well, I handled it. Oh, you're a free man. Now. <laughs> Can I get you a shot, Jack? Just a beer, Mark. Sure thing. All I need is my six shooters. A lot of private experimental exercise. Would you let this one All these marks on poor Jack's face. Mm -hmm. back. Go take a seat, Charles. Take a load off. <laughs> I know you want what's mine. That's not gonna happen. Chill out. Sorry about that, Nash. It's okay. You all right? Yeah, he's good. Is there much pain, Alvin? Comes and goes. Sorry, you got it so tough, man. Carl told me about that robbery framework. Yeah, well, I'll manage. She worries. If you find the guy who did it, you'll go off on him. Jack. Where are your glasses? I bought contacts. Takes getting used to. Like the look. It's nice. Oh. She wants to look good for you, Jack. She's always helping me, whether it's with my business or my illness. When I'm gone, she needs a life with a good man. <coughs> Gonna be around forever. What will she do? I'm sorry. Take care of her. Got her head out. Okay. Taking off, Pearl. Thanks for the lemonade. Bye, Jack. I think we can agree that Brenner's not a murderer. Doctor, you really think you can cure these people? Cure? You can't cure violence. I mean, with hard work and dedication, they can get a grip on their lives. And yes, I stand by my treatments. But they're not always successful. Well, we're talking about human nature here. Human nature. So you treat these people, you let them out into the world, and when they commit atrocities, you write it off as human nature. As the doctor told you, he has a few ideas on how to clear Jack. He gave me the gist. Bonnie, the people we treat count on our discretion. I wonder, what did you have to do to get this job? I think he must have had a difficult childhood. Hey, Doc. Hey. Came to fix that outlet? Excellent. Um, could you do me a favor and check the breaker box as well? Uh, I can't do it now, but I'll come back later, all right? Fine. That works for me. I'm gonna go use the little boy's room. I was just gonna call you. Charles and I would like to invite you over for a home-cooked meal. Charles, invite me. And you think I'm nuts? Give it a chance. You have the doctor convinced that somebody framed you? Why don't you convince Charles? Because I don't care what Charles thinks. I don't care if he believes me. I don't trust him. Do you trust me? I'd like to. Wow. And I let you choke me. Forget it. I knew you wouldn't come. Bonnie. No. Nope. Bonnie! What time?
can I ask you something? Mm. Between you and I. Did you kill someone? So you don't believe me either? Well, I want to. And what does that mean? Well, I don't know. I mean, did you happen to notice a dead body at your feet with your fingers around his throat? So first I'm framed for robbery, now I'm some fucking psycho killer? Bad luck and make a man or break a man. That choice is up to you. And you would be rotting in prison right now if I didn't lie for you. And it kind of looks like you took the money. That's crazy. For 200 bucks? Of all people, I thought you would see the truth. I'm not sure you know what the truth is, my friend. The truth is, I don't have the money, and I didn't rob the place, but I intend to find out who does. You have to get away back. I could fucking kill you right now with this pain, you oh, know that? Sorry. Please, all right? I was just testing your anger without the safety of role play. You're an unsteady man, Jack. Yeah. Well, not too unsteady to take you home. Let's go. Bonnie tells me you think you were set up for robbing my tavern, and that same guy killed that biker. Sounds like a two-for-one special. Yeah, a frame-up special. Of course, it couldn't have been Jack. He's such a good little boy now that my girl has tamed him. Is this what you invited me here for? So I could listen to this crap? Charles. Charles what? Mark my words, he's going to turn on you and Doc. Come on. Open it up. Let's see what Looney Tunes brought you. Dead end on the money so far. Hmm. Dead end. Well, in that case, I don't give a shit. I want the 500,000 that Brenner took. Come on, man. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm still working on Dr. Peslo. <laughs> Charles, come on. You know how this works. Either that money finds its way back to me, or you become the dead end. Doc said that he asked Jack about the money. I'm sure he tried his hardest. Yeah. Now I want you to take this gun. I want you to find Peslo, and I want you to kill him. I need to break Brenner. Worry. I'm gonna pin it on Jack. Now take the gun and kill Peslo. Your girlfriend has more balls than you do. Cheer up, Charlie. I'm gonna give you a temporary reprieve. But you better come up with a reason real fast for me to change my mind. Or you might find yourself in the trunk of a stolen car with a couple of bullets in your brain. <laughs> Good night.
Dr. Peslow got attacked. Looks like he's gonna be fine. But Edgar, the security guard, found him and sees Jack running out of the office. Look, nothing's missing, so we can rule out robbery. But why would Brenner attack the good Dr. Peslow? Human nature. What? I don't know. Let's go talk to Jack Brenner again, the jackass. How many times are we going to do this, guys? You tell me. Just have a seat. Dr. Peslow was almost murdered, but that's no big surprise to you. No, you know it'd be a surprise, some good news. Oh, well, here's some. We have a witness that saw you fleeing the doctor's office, but that's more for us, really. Gentlemen, Still, good news. Here's our guy. Nobody knocks. Oh, oh, yeah, that's the guy right there. Edgar, have a seat. Have a seat. What, no two-way mirrors? No, that's for cowards. Take a seat. Edgar, is this the man you saw fleeing Dr. Peslow's office? Mm-hmm. I want my lawyer. You're going away for a long time. I'm not guilty. I would never hurt the doctor. He saved my life. You beat him with his own cane like an animal. Ooh. <laughs> an on-off switch. I guess that wasn't working earlier, huh? No, his switch is still on. This dude is crazy. I, I don't want no part of this. This guy's crazy, man. I'm out of here. Hey, no. Edgar! <sighs> Bonnie just had a bye, Jack. Said she was with him the whole night. No, that, that, that's never gonna... See you later, guys. Don't get comfortable, Jack. to convince them I didn't do this. Devlin's got you in his crosshairs now. He's not gonna let up. I swear to God, I gotta quit drinking. I can't remember anything. Oh. Ah. Find a way to get back to work. Can you have me my notebook? Did you find it? I'm sure it's gonna turn up. Why would somebody take your notebook, though? I don't know. Because there are people out there that aren't fans of my method and they would like to see me fail. I don't want to see you fail, but I do think I can prove that Jack didn't do this. I just, I need to go home. Can you take her? Doc. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I, I have some things I need to do. I'll call you later, doctor. Thank you. Bonnie, stay away from this guy. Don't fucking touch me. We'll finish this later, okay? You gonna be all right? Yeah, now you worry. After you beat up her boss, you should already make enough trouble between Bonnie and I. No, Charles. You do that all by yourself. How am I supposed to find out if Jack has the money if this is how you act every time you see us together? Stick to the plan. Devlin wants Jack in jail so he could break him down. If Jack is in jail, we'll never see the money. Plus, what if he doesn't even have it to begin with? Just don't fuck it up with Devlin. Hey, you don't look so good, my friend. Usually you're a well-dressed man. Maybe it's because I've been working overtime trying to find some missing money. Some money? I need more time. Look, I've had it with your excuses, Devlin. Nero, I'm... Don't I'm... Nero me. What do I look like, a fool? Just get me that $500,000 within 48 hours or else. You understand? It's impossible. Nothing's impossible when you only have 48 hours to live. Remember, I own this town. I'll go get my money.
You know, I figured out who ripped this place off. It was Sharky. And you? Yeah. It wasn't that smart, and I'm not that dumb. OK, so it was you and Jack. Yeah, 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 my best friend. You knew I was coming to make that pickup. Now I've got Nero up my ass, and I'm out 50 grand. Yeah, you know everything. That's, that's what I've come to expect from a dirty cop. <laughs> Charles, you know, honesty, decency, they're nice words. But they've never kept anybody well fed. And I have quite an appetite. Put pressure on Bonnie to make Jack open up. Oh, you didn't think I knew about that? No, 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 no. Not after what Jack did to Doc. I... Tell your girlfriend to be a better lay. <gasps> you ever pull anything like that again, and I will fucking napalm your goddamn world. Find the fucking money. for her, how you've cared for her, and how you've helped me. I wish there was a way I could repay you. Maybe there is. I've always had a connection with you and your mother, Jack. I tried so hard to help you. And I watched you improve so much to gain control of your life. Yes, sir. In your fragile mind, stopping your father in the street is what caused his death. When actually it was the driver's fault. I still blame myself. I mean, the only facts I have are that I stopped my father and he was killed. I mean, you've helped me so much to control it. I mean, I feel like I'm almost there. Like you, I suffer from extreme guilt. To rid mine has been a complicated journey. But I hope what I'm about to show you today will ease that burden that we feel and bring us both peace of mind. Psychoanalysis, pioneering new methods. I had the world in the palm of my hand, Jack. I was on my way home from an office party. I was celebrating an offer that I received from Oxford University. So you were drunk? No. I never touched a job before the accident. I've always regretted my decision, Jack. I ended somebody's life, and I didn't want to end mine. So I compensated by taking care of you and your mother. And I know that's not enough, Jack. How could it be I took your father's life?
Now it's a perfectly acceptable time for you to get angry. Jack, aren't you gonna call the cops at least? I deserve it. Hey, Jack. Hey, what's up, Mark? Hey, can I get a beer? Yeah. Sorry to hear about your mom. Are you having a service? No, no, I don't believe in wasting money on funeral expenses. I'm more supportive. A sensitive question. Did you get any insurance money? Seriously, Nash? Right now? You're gonna get your money, okay? Okay, okay, I trust you. Someone you don't trust was asking a lot of questions about you. Stoned and in a bad mood. Charles. Yeah, well, what's new? He was asking me if you dropped a lot of bills in here. He invited me to the hideaway for a special gambling event. What? Gambling downstairs. Downstairs? No, I'm gonna check that out for myself. I don't think you're gonna get an invitation. No? Yeah, well, I don't need one. You need me there. Don't forget. We have an alarm. Oh, you better get it checked out. Look, I hope I didn't get anybody in any trouble, guys. The only one in trouble is going to be you. You just tell this guy you're going to meet him here. What are you? That's Jack yeah, Renner. Yeah. He's the guy who has the money. Oh. Oh. Don't just stand there. Just tell me who has my money. What are you talking about? Answer the man. You killed the bike and stole the money, right? That's fucking crazy! I'm looking for the guy who set me up! No, Bruno, no, no, Bruno. I don't want another dead body. I just want my money. I want my money. <laughs> shouldn't confront Charles yet. Why not? Everyone's fucking with me and I'm done. You need to be careful. Those mob guys who attacked you own that gambling bar. And Charles. So then Charles has to be behind this. Charles couldn't execute a plan if it bit him in the ass. Yeah, well, he sure executed those kicks up right. <clears throat> and I thank you for alibying me. Thank you. I had to do something. They were going to put you in jail, and what good would that do anyone? Why? Who does it matter to? Me. I promised Peslo that I would help you. So let me help you. I don't need your help anymore. And give me the wire. It doesn't control me anymore. Hey. Yeah, no. All right, I'll be right over. What happened? Is everything all right? Yeah, no, it's fine. I just, I gotta take care of something. Look, I'll drop you off at home. Hey, you okay? What's that 
smell. Pearl, where's your father? No, no, yeah. Why didn't you call anyone? So afraid. and got my hair done. All for you, Jack. I don't want to hear it. This money has fucked up my life. Do you realize that? I've been arrested. I've been beat up. I was almost killed. So what? You followed me to Charles's warehouse, is that it? Sometimes I follow you thinking you're meeting Bonnie. <sighs> I was surprised you went to the bar and left so soon, and at this warehouse, I heard a scream and went in to make sure you didn't... You should not have gone there. He looked dead. He swung at me wildly and did it himself. I didn't do it. Help me, Jack. Please. from you all day. What happened yesterday? Nothing. Nothing at all. That's my van. What the fuck is this? <sighs> Charles set me up. A jerk, but maybe he's just a fall guy. Oh, is that Charles's jacket? That proves it. I gotta call Devlin and have him arrest Charles. Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie. How did I end up with a loser like Charles? <laughs> I'm so naive. <laughs> it's not your fault, okay? It's not your fault. <laughs> At first it was fun, and then and now I'm just like cleaning up all these messes, and I can't take it anymore. I know. It's a lot right now. Uh, it's okay. All right. Bonnie. Bonnie, what about Charles? Charles isn't coming home tonight. I just... Don't you want me? I just I don't know if this is right. Right, left, all directions lead somewhere. <sighs>
very nice. Playing Mr. Detective? To what? You and Sharky framed me. To what? The money? I saw the pictures of the van and the jacket. We killed Sharky. By the way, where is my money? Killing me will only make it worse for you, Charles. Neither one of us is a murderer. So someone else is out there? Stealing stolen money, killing? Who? The only thing we have left is to help each other. We can walk right down to the station. Think about it. And if you're gonna shoot me, you're gonna have to do it in the back. to me. Seriously? What, are you just gonna pin everything on me? Let's go. What the fuck? Are you Easy. arresting me? Are you serious? I called you guys. Why would I call the cops? If I did it, that'd be dumb. Maybe you're not as dumb as we think you are. Or maybe you're too smart for your own good. Either way, we're gonna talk about it at the station. There he is. Hey, where the hell are you going? I didn't think you'd want to miss this. We're holding him on attempted murder. Or murder, if Charles dies. Let's go, genius. What happened there? Jack, I heard what happened. So you don't believe me now either? Of course I believe you. I just don't understand why. I didn't want you anywhere near Charles. Charles set me up. OK, I had to do something. And look where it got you. Under arrest for attempted murder. No, I didn't do it, OK? But I know who did, and I know where the money is. Now, will you help me? Of course I will, Jack. We've been through so much together, and we deserve a better life. Leave it to me. I know how to clear you. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Hello? Is anybody there? Hey, we're going over to Bonnie's. Jack says Charles planted some evidence over there. Oh, well, when did he tell you that? Is that before you tried to murder him? Why are you so upset? Huh? Friends with Charles? Hey, 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 knock it off, come on. Let's get over there, come on. So where's your boss? Oh, is it my turn to watch him? None of your business. Yeah, Nick's right up here. What do you expect to find up there? A whole lot of nothing. Hold on. I think I see something. Jack, huh? Charles, where's the fucking money? 
Sorry, what, what money again? I'm... Well, you really must be crazy, huh? Don't you understand? I will kill everyone. Bonnie, the doc, I'll pin it on you. What are you gonna do, huh? Call the cops? 50-50 split, 250,000 each. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Deal. Good, I'll be back in half an hour. I see that hand again, you better be holding my money. Half an hour. It was Devlin. How do you know? He was at the warehouse. I gave him that cut. We have to tread very carefully here. Should you let Wally know? Well, with no proof. He could have gotten that cut anywhere. You stay in the house. And I'll be right back. Where's the money, bitch? Give me the gun. You go make our arrangements. I'll take care of Devlin. Jack, I need your help now. I'm glad you finally came to your senses about the money. Yeah, well, it was never about the money for me. There he is. Jack, this is uh, Mr. Van Dam. He's a gentleman I told you about. So where's the pickup? Thanks for coming, Wally. Of course. Well, Charles came out of the coma and admitted setting up the robbery, but he didn't kill Sharky. And I want Devlin to interview him, but Devlin's not answering his phone. Hmm. You know, it's unreal that I was framed twice. Wally, you lived a good moral life. I mean, you tell me, you think there's any payoff in the end? I don't know about a payoff, but sometimes I wonder how much fun I could have had if I didn't stay on the straight and narrow. But my wife is basically a walking Sicilian lie detector, and I value my testicles. Got it. So, yeah. Well, if I've learned anything through this whole thing, it's just that money isn't everything. Well, let's get in there. We'll wait. The girl doesn't have much value. Yeah. Very sorry if you're lost. Chief Nelson. Very sorry. Jack here has been a great help. It's been like the rock at Gibraltar for Pearl. I don't know what you'd do without him. Oh, I have to admit, I misjudged him a couple times. He's one stand-up guy. Oh, thank you, gentlemen. Well, Seymour, you have my condolences. I know this must be very hard. Thank you. You know, my, my brother suffered terribly. He, looked like he was down to 90 pounds. Well, I thought a closed casket was best. Take care. Thanks, Jack. <clears throat> well, the family gathered together for the final goodbye.
Guess for hire. That is brilliant. That must be a lucrative business. You do weddings too? Well, we provide people for all kinds of events. People just want to show their distant relatives and their co-workers that they've got friends and family. So we learned a few facts about our client. We make them somebody. You mean somebody better? Americans of aim. Business? Business is good. Hope you're satisfied with our service. There. Thank you. Well. Tequila, Bonnie. Oh, I see. Hard work being a pearl. What is the matter? We pulled it off. You had the doctor's notebook because you attacked him. You had it. You believed I had the money and you thought that if you replaced him, you could get to me. Peslo found out I took some of his grant money. I wanted to get rid of him anyway. And Devlin? How long before I'm next? He lunged at me. I had to defend myself. Same with Pearl. She attacked me from behind and I had to fight for my life. You killed Pearl? How could you do that? She was an innocent kid. What does it matter? We're going to Mexico. No, Bonnie. I'm not going. And neither is this. That leaves with me. I told you when I take great risk, I expect great reward. Leave now. Without the money. I'll hate myself if I have to shoot you. The money. Now. Three. Two. Good boy. You're making a big mistake, Bonnie. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. I don't believe in maybe. With me, it's now or never. And you picked never, so. Just give me the bag. That was a stupid move. You are bad. 